Is your government at all prepared, given concerns about inflation, pr grocery prices, and shortages, to maybe reverse the cross-border mandate? Uh, Evan, uh, thank you for having me on your show. Let me start off by saying that there isn't a single person that we know or ourselves who have uh, not experienced uh, supply cha chain challenges over the last couple of months we, or a couple of years. We all know that there have been uh, that, that COVID-19 has made an impact on supply chain. There are long-standing issues, global and domestic, um, and undoubtedly that COVID is the root cause of this. So what we are doing and what we've been doing over the last year and a half is managing the COVID uh, crisis to the best of our ability to support Canadians, to support the Canadian businesses, to support our economy, and to ensure that we get out of this pandemic as quickly as possible. And that includes, as most public health experts agree, vaccines. Vaccines are our best way out of the pandemic. And we have gradually, over the last uh, six or seven months, been rolling out re vaccine requirements throughout our uh, supply chain network. We started with, with travelers first. We exempted truckers at the time, but we started with uh, border travelers, uh, border uh, people who crossed the borders. We then uh, moved on to implement it for our right. rail, marine, and air uh, sector. And then last November, we announced that we are going to implement it for right. truck drivers who are crossing the borders, just like also the U.S. is announcing. So our, this approach know, but is, is to, to, to protect supply chains, Evan, is to protect workers uh, okay, but, within but, but supply chains. I only chains. have three minutes with you. I, I just want to understand, but I understand that. But, but a lot of people are saying, look, inflation's worse than it's ever been. Supply chains are as tight as, or, as they've ever been. So why not just delay this? You've had this exemption for truckers. Why don't you just extend the exemption now so people don't have higher prices for products and the supply chains aren't disrupted? Just move it to accommodate people. Is there any sense that you might do that? So, Evan, first of all, we're not sitting idle in, in not responding to the supply chains issue. I'm hosting a summit next week uh, that will bring key stakeholders on supply chains issues. We're dealing with, we're fixing, want to fix labor shortages and other inf uh, infrastructure issues. Having said that, right. it boils down to this. If you believe that vaccines are our best way out of the right. pandemic, if you believe vaccines are yeah. the best way to deal with absenteeism and infection rates and hospitalization rate, why would you want to delay mm. that even further? Truckers have done their part. More than 90% of them are fully vaccinated. And they've been, you know, there for Canadians. So now is the time to encourage those who are the remaining truck drivers who have not been vaccinated to get vaccinated because we know this is actually a solution to the supply chains issue, not a hindrance. It's the so why would you delay okay. that if you believe it's a solution to supply chains issue? Okay, so you're not going to budge. I just got I got about 90 seconds here. So just real quick, when these truckers show up on on Parliament Hill, um, what is your message to these unvaccinated truckers? Look, I first of all, I want to thank all truck drivers for serving Canadians. They've stepped up. Um, they ensured that our shelves are packed. They've ensured that the products that Canadians want are there. Um, and I want to thank all of them who've stepped up and gotten vaccinated. I want to encourage those who have been not right. been vaccinated yet to get vaccinated. Every every Canadian has a right to oppose a policy. I, uh, I'm, uh, you know, I encourage people to have a rational debate okay. about this. A rational discussion, but it is the right thing to do for our supply chains and it's the right thing to do for Canada.